I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Eli Whitney, the inventor of the cotton gin. I take two fingers in the center underneath, I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line down, curve line up, curve line over, curve line up, curve line down, curve line out, curve line down, and leave it floating. I come back up to the top, and I'm just going to draw curve line over, curve line down, curve line up, little curve line, Big curve line out and in, curve line up, down, curve line out, wavy, wavy, wavy line down, over, curve line, and connect. Come back over here on the right and starting at the top right here, we're going to put a curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line out. Curve line, wavy, wavy, curve line out, wavy, wavy, curve line out, and connect. Come back up to the top. We're going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line down, out. Keep going to about here. Curve line up, leave it floating. Curve line out, in, up, connect. Come right about here, and we're just going to draw a curve line out, curve line over, straight line up, connect, right where we stopped over here, keep going curve line up, and connect. Come on the left, draw a curve line out, off the page, come on the right, curve line out, off the page. Come inside, we're going to draw a curve line on the left, little curve line up, down, on the right, come back to the left, curve line, curve line over, connect, on the left, curve line over, connect, on the right. Come back to the left, little curve line inside, right hand side, little curve line inside. Starting right here in the center, we're going to draw a straight diagonal down and then put a little curve line, curve line up, come down a bit, curve line up, down, up, curve line underneath. Leave it floating. Come right about here and just add another little slight curve line. Okay, come on the right hand side, put a dot. And we're just going to draw wavy, wavy line, connect, straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down, connect. We're going to draw a dot, wavy, wavy line, up, connect, straight diagonal out, up, straight diagonal out, up, connect, put a dot, wavy, wavy line, connect, straight diagonal out, up, connect, straight diagonal, out, up, connect. Now come back up and we're just going to do some overlaps of wavy lines. Connecting, wavy line, connecting, wavy line, wavy line, connecting, wavy line, connecting. Okay, because I don't want to forget who this is, this is Eli Whitney. Okay, he invented, invented the cotton gin in 1794, he got a patent for it. Made him a very wealthy man. This is cotton. Okay, let's see how we are going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is color in all of this facial hair and hairdo. So starting right here, I'm just going to do a loop-de-loop -loop on the inside of my face. Those are his whiskers. 
Then I jump over with brown and I color the inside of this hairstyle he has going on. And each one of these little curved lines coming out and up, these are, it looks to me like they're strands of hair that he, well, I don't know what he did. I think maybe he might have been bald or uh, it looks like a comb over. I don't know. Anyways, it's a crazy hair hairstyle. And yet, it's important because that's how we know what year this was. By the hairstyle. He wasn't the only one wearing this. A lot of men did. But it's kind of a crazy looking hairdo. So I'm using brown on all of it. Then, <clears throat> with my black, I'm just going to color in his eyeballs. Left and right with black. And I'm going to just put a little bit of yellow-orange on his mouth because the rest of him, I'm going to use my multicultural crayon and he's a very pink man. If you don't have multicultural crayon, you could use a pink crayon but color it very lightly. But he is a very pink man. I'm using apricot this down here, this is his double chin. And I'm going to go over my orange just to give it a little bit of deviation in color from the rest of his face. And this is his ear. This is one of the more different portraits we've done. And I think it's just because of when he was born and painted. Okay? So this is all Eli Whitney face and what have you. Then, all you do is color in the rest of this part black. They weren't real fancy. They wore white shirts and black coats. And that was pretty much it. So this is all black. Now, if you wanted to add something else to the background, you could. I thought adding the cotton was more important than anything, so you don't forget what he did. <clears throat> and I'm just going to put those little diagonals, I'm going to make those brown stems. And the rest of it I'm going to leave alone. Okay, let's see what he looks like all colored in. Okay, here's Eli Whitney all colored in. He's also known for the first person to realize about having interchangeable parts, which is important if you're an engineer. Okay, bye-bye.